Okay, Pam. It's me, Taiba Vinda Bulbul. And today's topic was uh, transportation system uh, in Bangladesh. We all know that uh, the transportation system of Bangladesh is improving day by day, but there are some lackings yet. But but uh, the authority and the government are trying their best to uh, provide us enough and sufficient uh, transport system and transport facilities for us. And uh, the government has taken several uh, transport projects uh, to meet the need of our country people. And some of them are uh, already has been completed successfully and people are enjoying the facilities of those transport transports like the metro rails, uh, the uh, multi-purpose uh, for the bridge and some other projects. And, uh, but, but the thing is that uh, these are not, uh, these are not enough for a overpopulated country like Bangladesh and people need more facilities. Uh, though there are many uh, and numerous numbers of vehicles and still there are lackings. And uh, due to lack uh, of the lack of uh, expert and skilled uh, they are not all aware of the traffic rules and other regulations of the of the uh, etc. So so accidents are happening every day. Every day I open the uh, newspaper. I just notice uh, near about ten people died in the roads every day and and when there is a vacation or when there is a like uh, Eid, Puja or other vacations the number of the people who are killed in roads by accidents the number gets bigger and bigger and it's it's really a concern it's a concern for our country and uh, there are also uh, some drivers those who are not okay there are uh, some drivers who are not old enough they uh, they uh, get involved driving in a very uh, young age so so they are also uh, it is uh, there also a reason uh, for the road accidents and i think road accident is one of the most concerning issues of our country and most of the people who didn't get enough facilities to study uh, so they don't know about the rules and regulations and other things so th these things are very much available. And in our country, whenever a conflict came, come, whenever a conflict uh, comes, like now, um, many students of our country are striking against the quota system. And what they're doing? Yeah, they're striking and they just, uh, they just, what can I say? They, uh, they are uh, staying on the highways, avenues, and which uh, uh, interrupting the traffic system. So any conflict like this uh, always interrupt the transport system. And I, I can uh, take an example of my university uh, i like i love my university very much but i have to admit that uh, our 
university is notorious for uh, political groups and politics is worst here. And whenever any group, uh, any group conflict, conflicts with other groups uh, for the issue of domination or something like that, they always try to uh, demolish the main gate so that uh, the vegas cannot come and go uh, so that's it in our country it's one of the most uh, it's one of the worst experience of mine and again um, okay let's talk about the material uh, material has been successfully completed. The material project has been successfully um, completed uh, before two years ago. And, and the main purpose was to, uh, the main purpose of, of the project was to reduce the number of uh, private cars. Uh, but the reality is um, in a, uh, so uh, it was, seen that uh, I saw it in a newspaper I read it in a newspaper that 60 percent of the passengers of material uh, are the ones who used used to use uh, public transports like uh, public buses or other stuff like that so they are 60 percent and only six percent of the private vehicle users are using uh, material. Uh, the scenario was supposed to be totally, uh, what can I say, opposite. But that's not what it was supposed to be. Uh, okay, you have uh, passed the time. All right. Uh, that's all. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you.